questions that I usually get from other tall women is how do I find statement pieces and add them to my wardrobe? Do I do it in a strategic way or do I just see something and add it to my wardrobe? I usually buy my statement pieces based on the event that I'm attending and my lifestyle. So a statement piece can be anything from a blazer that has a specific pattern or it can be a pair of earrings that are larger or a quirky shape. So in this video, we're gonna talk about how to add statement pieces to your wardrobe. And this is gonna be part three of the series, Building Your Wardrobe That You Love. So what statement pieces do you own? What statement pieces do you want to add? And you also wanna consider the events that you're going to and why you need these statement pieces. For me, I need more necklaces. I am not a necklace girl. I just don't really like a ton of stuff on my neck, but I am on the hunt for some. So I know for one that I am missing that in my jewelry selection and possibly more statement like jackets. I'm a neutral girl, so I have a ton of neutrals in here and maybe a sprinkle of a color. We're gonna go into this video basing everything off of certain events that we as women go to on a daily basis. So let's get into the first occasion, which is formal. Formal would be anything like a wedding, a black tie event, something that you really have to dress up for. No type of casual wear at these events. In this case, when you're shopping for something like this, you wanna think about the item and how many times you actually can wear it. Is it gonna be worth you spending hundreds of dollars if you only go to a wedding once every seven years? or you're going to more of a black tie event often with your partner. You guys already know I'm always gonna tell you go for cost per wear, always. So if you are gonna spend a little bit more money, definitely think about how many times you're actually gonna wear it. Picking something for a formal event, you can go from high end to mid end to low end, meaning Amazon. <laughs> so think about that when you're shopping for these pieces and make sure you're buying the right piece and something that you're actually gonna wear a ton of times. The next occasion would be casual. Casual meaning lunch dates with your friends, lunch dates with a guy, so if you're buying something for a casual event, here's when you can literally get creative. We're going through our wardrobes and we're trying to figure out exactly what we like. So we already purged our closets in part one. And then part two, we are filling in our wardrobe gaps, right? So we already know the style that we're going for. You want them to be things that is gonna go with your casual wear and possibly be mixed with something else. So think about cost per wear every single time you're buying something <laughs> for your closet, guys. We don't waste money over here, okay, girls? You also wanna think about what you enjoy most when you're picking these pieces. So again, if you want something that is a little bit more bold as far as the color, maybe your gold jewelry has a stone color. Um, maybe this stone is like a pearl and you can possibly wear it to work maybe. And you could possibly even wear it to a formal event depending on the size. Think about all those things when you're picking out these pieces because girls, let me tell you, when you have a selection of statement pieces, getting dressed in a plain outfit is going to be a breeze for you because you can always just grab something, earrings, bracelet, a belt, a hat, a scarf, a tie, things like that you can just grab and add to your outfit and make it extremely stylish. Style is unique to the individual guys. So it's based on what you like, not what everybody else is doing. So some statement pieces for a casual event will be bold blazers, bold shoes, bold sweaters, like nice knitwear. Stockings can be a statement piece if they have like a little bit of detailing on it. Hats can be a statement piece. Again, ties can be a statement piece. Gloves, I love me some gloves, guys. Gloves are just my favorite thing ever. Um, but gloves can be a statement piece, so anything that can add to an outfit for your casual wear to make it pop is a statement piece. So if you stay this far in the video, make sure you are hitting that like button and let's get to the next step. The third event is gonna be like a work event. So you may possibly go to a conference or even a Christmas party at your job. Christmas party, you can get a little bit more bold, but you still have to be cautious on what you're wearing but your accessories can definitely be a little bit more on the bold side. But a work conference or something, you don't wanna be boring. So you can do things like wear like a statement shoe with a nice suit. You can wear a nice pair of glasses 
that are just like a prescription glasses with no prescription, if that makes sense. Also want to think about not wearing something that is going to distract the people while you're at work. You want to stand out, but you don't want to distract anybody else when you're working. It's just like the rule of thumb. So a work event would be another occasion that you would shop for when you're adding statement pieces to your wardrobe. And the last event would be outdoor events. Outdoor events would be picnics, they would be carnivals, music fests, any type of festivals is an outdoor event. So when you're shopping for this type of event, it's casual, but it's also kind of very much so dressed down. <laughs> so in this case, when you're buying things for this, think about if you're going to be going to an amusement park. Would you even want to wear like a hoop earring or do you want to wear a necklace? Maybe you want to wear something that's more of on the stud side. Maybe you want to get some sneakers that are a statement, but still very comfortable. Um, but very noticeable. Same as a casual occasion, you can still dress really bold and add colors, but in this case, you wanna be comfortable. So if we're out at a festival, we can wear some really nice sandals that are a statement, but we want something that's still on the comfortable side. So comfort is the first thing here when you're buying anything that's a statement piece for this section, and then you can go for style second, in my opinion, because let me tell you something, being uncomfortable, <laughs> At a park is the worst thing you could absolutely do. You don't want to be at a film festival or some sort of like festival where it's going to be like a band or just like you're walking around like a carnival and your feet hurt, girls. You're not going to enjoy yourself. Trust me. Trust me. Trust me. So think about comfort, but also think about something that's still going to stand out. You also want to pick things. If you're buying a piece of clothing, you want something that's breathable because there's nothing worse than being hot and sweaty at a festival. When I go to festivals, girls, I'm trying to tell you, I am literally probably like one of the ladies who's not sweating, okay? Because I make sure things that I put on are very breathable and still very stylish at the same time. So when I'm buying pieces for this occasion, I'm very, very strategic when I do that. So those are the four occasions that you're gonna be shopping for when you're adding statement pieces to your wardrobe. So I hope this video was helpful as well as part one and two. So make sure you are checking those out. I am gonna link those for you in the description box so you can catch up and not miss out on anything. And I'm gonna add a couple of my blog posts for you guys in the description box. I'm gonna link one about saving when you're shopping so it'll help when you are buying your accessories and anything that stays for your wardrobe even though you're buying statement pieces you don't necessarily have to spend a ton of money you just have to do it really really smart and I'm also gonna link some of my style guides for you ladies to check out okay because they are a step-by-step -step guide that is available as soon as you download it I hope that really does help you guys so thank you guys for tuning into this video if you stay to the end of this video please comment Coco we see you and guys don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Coco Styles NYC and Coco Styles NY and my personal style blog Coco Styles NY C.com and my style services Coco Styles NY.com and I'm on ticketing tickety talk coco style nyc and i will catch you guys in the next one bye guys